theater complex was built between 1973 and 1975, initiated during the regime of General Guan. The form and shape of the building is a replica of the Palace of Culture and Sport in Varna, Bulgaria. The complex, a state of the heart space for the hosting of Second World Black and African Festival of Heart and Culture. Festac, organized in 1977 to celebrate the identity, meaning, and strength of the Black and African world. The architectural design evolved from a spherical plan linked with networks of pedestrian and vehicular ways. The floor plan combines a series of concentric circles on various levels around a central cylindrical core. The theater complex is iconic with distinct features such as shell roof, ring columns, and many more, offering a panoramic view of the neighboring communities and entire Lagos. Over the years, people described the building as a military peak cap as the characteristic shell roof on different levels gives credence to the perception of the theater complex. The main auditorium, equipped with collapsible proscenium stage and can accommodate up to 5,000 people as audience. The proscenium has three rows of curtains, double cyclorama, and backdrop to give a silhouette and lighting effect. The ceiling, made from a combination of fiberglass, acoustic ceiling boards, and aluminum panels covering a long span of space. Other spaces within the theater complex are cinema halls, banquet halls, exhibition spaces, and lounges. Various forms of artifacts drawn from different communities in Nigeria are on display in different parts of the theater complex for different events. Built on 400 foundation piles and reinforced concrete frame structure. As an example of modern heritage in Nigeria, the theater complex exhibits innovative ways to combine concrete with other building materials in construction. The expansive surrounding spaces are landscaped with greens and sculptures made by renowned sculptors and artists. The main entrance decorated with coat of arms for Nigeria and murals made by Erabo Emokwi. The murals capture Afrocentric cultural themes relevant to different Nigerian communities, from Benin to Sokoto, from Lagos to Ghana and to other countries in Africa. Various schools from early childhood to tertiary institutions visit the theater complex for excursions and field works. The values and the identity of the theater complex are, however, not immune to social and economic challenges. Over years, instability in governance and policy structure contribute to changes in community perception of the theater complex. Let's listen to how community members perceive the theater complex. If you enter the theater, the ambience, you will still get it. But for those of us who's been here for years, you know, we feel a lot more could have been done. You know, so I don't enter into the theater building with any kind of excitement at all. Unlike what, because I knew what it used to be. It used to be a beehive of activities with restaurants, boot, um, shops. You know, it's one stop. Spend the whole day in the theater because there's so much to see, so much to do. 
and so much to you know keep you busy you know so these days i don't feel like that maybe people that are new will still be you know not that kind of um since 2002 in an effort to actualize the master plan of the charter complex the federal government made effort to transfer management of the charter complex to private organization this effort yielded redesign and redevelopment of the expansive surrounding spaces and renovation of the complex other ancillary facilities located in the surrounding areas are a 200 unit five star hotel shopping mall aquatic park office development and cultural arcade center it's essential to note here that with all the addition of the auxiliary facilities it's vital to understand and assess how the ancillary facilities will impact the value and the identity of the theater complex. As a building built over four decades ago and located in a state exposed to various environmental impact, exacerbated by climate variability and extreme weather events. For instance, the roof slabs and gutter gather rotting leaves and dirt, helping the growth of plants and other pests. Insect colonies found in different parts of the building resulted in destruction of wall paintings and artifacts. We'll discuss more on the impact of changes in climate element in episode 4. Timber finishes to walls are being affected by leakages in roof covering and are attributed to increased intensity of rainfall in Lagos. Deterioration of some of the structural elements of the complex affecting its authenticity and integrity. Deterioration of the pavings around the theater complex due to instability of the subsoil and water action. To recap our conversation in this episode, I established that values and identity of the theater complex transcend the boundaries of Nigeria to other African countries even as far as Australia. It's vital to note as well that heritage value is not static but dynamic and subjected to forces from other sectors of the country. Beyond these forces, changes in temperature, rainfall and other climatic elements impact the attributes conveying the value and identity of heritage buildings. In episode 2, we will discuss about the values, identity and meaning of Cathedral Church of Christ in Marina, Lagos. Music